When I was 16, I auditioned for a local production of West Side Story. Uh, uh, the show had just come out. Uh, it was another three years uh, before it went from Broadway to Hollywood. Uh, uh, when the movie was produced three years later, won 10 Oscars, deservedly so. It was terrific. Uh, but the cast album had been out, and I remember the year before when I was 15, hearing it in a in a friend's basement. I just went, oh wow, what is that? That's fantastic. Uh, John Hirsch, the director of this production, was already a, a legendary figure in Canadian theatre and he ran the Manitoba Theatre Centre, but he had agreed to do this production of West Side at uh, Rainbow Stage, which uh, was uh, an outdoor theatre in Kildonan Park in the north end of the city, not far from where I lived. Uh, so I, I got up on stage solo with a chair, uh, no accompaniment, and a cappella sang the entirety of the comedy song Officer Krupke. Officer Krupke, we're down on our knees because no one wants a fellow with a social disease. Um, and uh, I had to use about 12 different voices and uh, Hirsch loved it. He thought it was terrific and he came up on stage and he was a very impressive guy and uh, he said, okay, that's great, can you sing scales? And I really had no idea what he was talking about and I said, sure, scales! Very, very loudly at the top of my lungs and he and the piano player fell on the floor laughing, they loved it and then they put me through, you know, ma, 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 and I had to do scales for them. So without even asking me to read or to dance or anything, he offered me a part uh, in the show to be one of the Puerto Rican boys. Uh, so I said, well, how much are you paying? And he said, $60 a week. And I said, oh, I can't, I can't do that. I have to go back to university and I need money to pay for school. And he said, well, that's what we're paying. So I didn't do it. Uh, Anyways, the production was quite spectacular. Hirsch, you know, was, was quite a wizard. And he hired the corps de ballet of the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. So the dancing was absolutely beyond belief. And the show opened to a bare stage and you saw a big high frost fence about 10 feet high on a 45 degree angle upstage uh, left of the audience. And the da 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 on the opening bars three young men came out of the wings out of nowhere and jumped onto the fence like you know clinging to the fence da 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 and they flipped over the fence da 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 and they sailed towards you downstage towards the audience it was breathtaking i mean these guys were you know huge leg lifts right up to their heads i mean it was spectacular anyway uh my friend Aaron was the rehearsal pianist, and then as they got closer to the production opening, they gave him the important part of Chino, and that helped change Aaron's mind from studying medicine to becoming a musician and a composer, a lifelong composer, which, which he's done ever since, which is wonderful. So, Pickle. Sometimes the best decisions are not made or based on money. Sometimes you got to follow your heart.